Hey guys, back in the kitchen. I mentioned a while ago that I made whipped body butter from my beef tallow and somebody asked me to do a video on it. So I'm going to do that today. It's really super easy and uh, I really, I've been really enjoying it. So I'm going to make up a big, big batch that I can individually uh, package up for gifts, maybe for Christmas or other reasons. So let's get going. Okay, so uh, I'm going to tell you how I do my recipe and you can uh, make it a smaller portion if you want. So I need two cups of, of melted beef tallow. And I'll tell you um, the honest truth that this will smell um, a little beefy. It's uh, not as, I don't know, I don't know how to say it. I guess it's not your commercial chemical products that have just this beautiful fragrant smell. I mean, we're going to make it smell good, but it will always have an undertone of an animal product. What I've noticed is within I'd say like five minutes of putting it on, that completely goes away and you're just left with the fragrance of your essential oils because basically that's all the goodness. Like tallow's really good with vitamin A, D, K, and E and that all soaks into your skin and I'm pretending to myself that that's what smells. <laughs> I don't know that that's true. But that's what I tell myself, that it's just all those good vitamins that are so pure in this that our skin's going to then absorb, leave us super, super healthy. We'll see how much we get from that because I do need to put it down in a double boiler. Okay, now I'm just going to transfer this. I don't know why I put it in that bowl. I'll put this in this bowl because this is what we're going to put on the double boiler. So I don't have a proper double boiler. I'm just setting this bowl on top of my pot with some water in it. Once it starts boiling, it'll create steam and help melt this. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this back in this bowl just so I can see how much tallow I actually got after I melted it all down. Okay, looks like just just a, only a cup. So um, I'm not going to get as big of a batch as I wanted because I really did want two cups. So I'll just have to do it again. Then you're going to add to this, uh, since it's only a cup, four tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, so I'm just going to walk away and let that cool for a little bit and then I'm going to come back, add my essential oils and we'll whip it up together. Okay, so I've let it cool. I'm going to show you. I don't know if you can see this. It's, um, you know, it's not solid, but it's definitely not super liquidy. So we're going to start whipping that up. But first I want to add my essential oils. So for essential oils that you want to add to it, if you're going to do a body application and you're just making the one half cup recipe, you can use up to 57 drops of essential oil. I am going to be doing a face application one since I already have my body butter. And so you want to half that to 24 drops. But I have one cup of my oil base, so I can double that. So I'm going to be adding 48 and uh, just let you know what I used for my body butter is I used eucalyptus and a little bit of lemon and I love it. It's really um, soothing for sore muscles and also when you get stuffy and it doesn't, you don't quite feel good, it's really, it almost feels like a Vicks Vapor Rub. But for my face, I'm going to be because I am over 40 and I'm aging, I'm going to be using frankincense, 
lavender and vetiver. I'm not quite sure how you say that. I love the smell of them. Okay, we're gonna whip that up. Okay, and basically you get the consistency of uh, buttercream frosting. There you have it. Not quite a full jar. If I would have been able to get my full two cups that I planned on, this would have been filled. Um, so I'm probably actually gonna just keep this for myself because it smells really, really good. Just wanna show you guys the consistency. So I just got a little dab, I'm gonna rub it in. For this, you would use it as a night cream. So when I go to bed at night, um, I always get my whipped body butter that I made with the eucalyptus and I rub it in real good, especially on my legs because this winter my, does a number on my legs. I just get really dry and cracked and uh, it just soaks right in and yeah, very nice. I love it. No beefy smell. It smells wonderful. I promise you, no beefy smell, and I'm sensitive to smells. Now you do smell it a little bit in the jar, but on your skin, not at all. Dinner's almost ready, so I'm going to let you guys go. If you have any questions or tips, leave your comments down in the comment section below. And that's how easy it is to make your own whipped body butter. Talk to you guys later. Bye.